Midday Kentucky's Nurse Appreciation Week is brought to you by Clark Regional Medical Center, a place where nurses love to work. Hey, welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, we're continuing our Nurse Appreciation Week. And today, Emily Albino with the Emergency Department at Clark Regional Medical Center is here to tell us more about what she does. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Do I'm you happy to be here. Thank you for coming <laughs> in and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. Okay, we all know the emergency room is probably one of the toughest gigs in the hospital. Why did you decide to become an emergency room nurse? Well, to be a registered nurse is already great, but on yeah. top of that, to be an ER nurse is just so different. Um, you are there to be able to partake in the care of your patients in their most critical health needs. Yeah. And to be just that person to be there is just so fulfilling when you see, when you see the immediate outcome. And Emily, I was about to say, because you have things, uh, patients' things, patients that just come in from anything from a, a, maybe a sore eye to a broken arm to something even more severe. So you have to be on your game. You I, are. You I want to, to ask you this. What training does it take for you to be a registered nurse to begin with? Well, at first, you know, you have to be oriented to the ER, but you do have certain certifications that you have to maintain. Oh, really? Yes. Above a normal nurse? Yes. Like... Um, Every nurse should have, or most nurses should have, advanced cardiac life support, uh, pediatric life support. On top of that, you have to have your trauma training, uh, training on trauma on pedi with pediatric patients. And also, uh, we also have training on like nonviolent crisis intervention, wow. which prepare you to deal with difficult situations and aggressive yeah. patients at times. I hear you. I want to ask you, and, and think about this for a second, what do you think is probably one of the hardest um, possibilities that you see come through the emergency room. When I say that, I mean someone walking in saying they need help. What's the toughest for you to actually grab and run with? Like aside from being vertically challenged, <laughs> 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 and needing yes, a footstool like when we have been doing CPR. Um, there are uh, many challenges that you face as an emergency nurse. One of the toughest that I've had was uh, when I had a uh, trauma patient that came in and that, you know, was like out of the blue, didn't prepare you for like what's going to come and that patient did not have a uh, positive outcome. Yeah. We did have, we do have debriefs that we do to um, talk about the situation, uh, to um, be able to express our feelings and concerns and we also have uh, somebody that we can, we can talk to if need be. And I was going to say, but now I'm glad you brought that up because I can only imagine everyone and everyone sitting at home when we see these medical shows that come on TV and the nurses really are the centre point of those emergency rooms. You keep it together for the doctors. You're we guiding do. the doctors around the room. Is that in real life? It is in real life, but the best thing about it is that nurses and doctors work together. Yeah. You prepare this and all your doctors are there and you just work as a team and that makes it Yeah, but it seems so like great. you nurses rule the roost. That's what I'm thinking it is actually happening. <laughs> okay, now we talked a little bit about um, the certifications that one needs, but I want to also break it down to sometimes patients go to emergency rooms that don't need to be in the emergency room. They mm -hmm. could go to urgent care or the family doctor. Explain that a little bit for me. Well, there are conditions that, you know, you have to go to the ER. Like, for example, if you're having chest pain, difficulty in breathing, yes. like having there. severe abdominal yep. pain, you don't want to go to your family doctor. You don't want to delay care. You want to go to the ER, get, um, you know, tests done immediately. Say yeah. if you're having a heart attack, then we can get you to a facility that, or we can take care of you. I got you.